What's up guys? Chris Perello, ChrisPerello.com. It's been a while, but I'm going to make another video. Uh, today, you know, we're spending the day at the beach house, and uh, it's kind of chilly out, but we went out and had some fun anyway. Did some uh, multiple exposures, uh, continuous shooting, I should say, um, and it uh, came out pretty cool. So I'm going to do some edits, and I'm going to show you guys what we got, and hopefully you guys like it. Please. Hey guys, so here I have my Lightroom catalog open, and as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a whole bunch of pictures um, that I shot uh, continuously. Uh, I use the Canon for this, um, the 7D, because it's doing eight frames per second. My Nikon only does six frames per second, so I wanted to capture more frames, and it actually. Uh, I'm able to capture more frames with the uh, Canon, the Nikon, I believe it stops at 6. After you shoot 6, the buffer fills up, but it goes a little bit longer with the Canon, so that's why I chose to do that. So, uh, first thing that I did was, well, let me show you what it's going to look like when it's all finished. So, here's the completed. GIF. It just keeps looping back and forth. And it's actually very, very easy to do. So let me go ahead and I'll just open up a new one. So let's go ahead. I, I have all the images that I'm going to use selected and I'm going to go into open as layers in Photoshop. Just click on that and then I'll let it do its thing and open all these images in Photoshop. Okay, so as soon as all those images are imported into Photoshop, you're ready to get started. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have your timeline up down here at the bottom. If you, don't, if you don't see this timeline right here, if you don't see this at the bottom of the screen, you just go to the top and you go to Windows and make sure that timeline is checked. See, now it's gone. Now it's back. All right. So what you want to do is you want to create a video timeline and it automatically grabs all of these layers and puts them into this file right here. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger to make it easier for me for right now. Now this is just my method that I figured out. I'm more than sure there are other ways of doing this, but um, this is just the easiest way that I found to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring each file size down to about right there. Now do the same thing for each of them. We're going to create both a video file and a GIF. Now for the video file, the reason I'm making a video file is you can upload it to Instagram. You cannot upload GIFs to Instagram for some reason don't know why they just don't allow it so we have to do a video and you have to make sure that the video is at least three seconds long because if it's not three seconds long it'll reject it and you'll have to reconfigure this so you can get it up to three seconds long which is really not a pain in the butt but you might you, you want to try and get it the first time so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, this is the most tedious part to me, and this is the only way that I know right now how to do it. I'm sure there's other ways. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But uh, I haven't done this many times, but it works. It works. So that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. And if you guys find quicker ways to do it, by all means, let us know. I like to do things faster. <laughs> All 
right, so we're just about done here. This last one. All right, so now that I've got the file sizes length down a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. Here's the first one. I'm going to drag the second one and just bring it up to here. It usually doesn't go this slow. I guess it's just acting up today. So come on. There we go. And the one underneath that, let's just bring that up here. Of course, you're going to act up too, aren't you? Yes. All right. So let's grab you. Come on. I don't know why it's going so slow like this. Perhaps because I have the other one. I don't know. Let's let's get rid of this one. I already have it saved. All right, so that should maybe make it work a little bit faster. Really? Ha. Got you now. I don't know what was up with that. Okay, so once we got that set up, what you want to do is you want to come over here to this little, I guess, gear wheel next to your volume, and you click on that, and you want to make sure that you have it on loop playback, because what that'll do is once you hit play, when it gets to the end, it'll just loop back to the beginning and just keep doing it over and over and over again. So let's just go ahead and play it and see what it does. Bring this down. Okay, so let's hit play, and that looks pretty good. All right, so that is how you uh, bring those together to animate it. And um, what you want to do now is you want to export it. So you come over here to the right, and you got this little icon thingamajiggy right here so you just click on that you want to go to render video this is going to make it into a video file so you can upload it to Instagram so just name it whatever you want to name it um, I set it to H.264 and 1080p 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second um, just pretty much follow this the way it is and it'll it'll work for you every time select where you want the folder to go and uh, you can rename the image so what you do after that is you just click render alright so I have that video exported now and uh, let's see what that looks like I got it here on my desktop and yes that's my girlfriend Taylor Swift so let's just double click on this video. And it's only going to uh, see it's at two seconds, so we're going to have to fix that. And um, in reality, once you put it in, it'll automatically just keep looping over and over again. So. Um, The easiest way to fix that is to go back into Photoshop and you just extend these, just one bump, 
just like so. Do that for all of them. And what that should do is make it three seconds long. You really don't want it any longer than that. Um, well, you can, depending on how, how many clips you're using, but minimum is three seconds or it will not work. It'll, it'll tell you in... Um, it'll tell you in Instagram that file video file is too short so but that's how you enlarge it and then you would just go ahead and save it the same way you just come over here render video and then save it back to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to and um, and then just when you open it up, I haven't done it, but when you open it up, just make sure that this right here says three seconds. And then um, the way that I do it is I actually save it to my uh, my Dropbox. And I, as you can see, I have it saved right here to my Dropbox. Let me just drop that over. Place. All right, so when I open this one, you can see right here it's three seconds long so it's gonna be the perfect length and what you do is you just put it into your Dropbox and uh, you go on your iPhone or your Android and um, take it from your Dropbox and export it to your uh, to your file to your phone and once you do that you can just go ahead and upload it to um, to Instagram and um, you will have show you right here you will have a video file um, in your Instagram so let's find me and there it is so let's click on that just click play as you can see it'll just keep looping over and over again but it has to be a video. You, for, for some reason, you cannot put a GIF in here. So that's how you create a video file in uh, in Photoshop to make it look like a GIF in Instagram. Now, I also have a GIF, which uh, it's pretty much the same thing. All you do is you keep these files here in Photoshop, and what you do is you go up to the top, you click on File, and you go to Export, Save for Web. And once you have that open, so once once you have this dialog box open, you want to make sure that your file is set to GIF. I usually set it to, let me make this smaller, so you can see the whole thing. usually set it to about 50 percent it doesn't need to be so huge so just let that do it again because right now it's at 219 megabytes that is way way too big 50 might be too big as well actually so I'm gonna probably drop it down to 25 percent let's see what we get here Yeah, 50% just dropped it down to 54 megabytes, which is still huge. So let's go ahead and um, drop that down to 25. Let's see what that makes it. All right, I mean, that's, I mean, that's usable. So I'm sure I can make it smaller than that. Um, but... Let's hear. Over here on the on the right, you, you have where it says animation, and then you have looping options. Right now it's set to once. You want to make sure you set that to forever. So that way the GIF is just going to keep looping over and over again. You go ahead and click play, you can see a preview of it. Like I said, it's running a little slow, but it, it, it usually does go faster, a little faster than that. But um, 
after you're satisfied with um, the size of your file you can just go ahead and you know what I'm gonna make this I'm gonna drop this down to 15 percent oh yeah okay five megabytes much better alright so again make sure that you're on forever for looping options and then click play just to check it okay now that looks good so I'm gonna hit save and let's save it to the desktop let's name this one CJ save okay so that's done and um, so you just check it by double clicking it it'll open it up in a web browser no my fault yeah open up the web browser and then you stick it in there and there it is there's the gif looks pretty good <laughs> so that's how you create a gif and a video file in um, Photoshop that you can use for your Instagram and um, for your website, which is what I did. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful for you guys. Uh, it's not hard. Just try it a couple different times, and um, you should get the hang of it. Very simple, very fun thing to do. So uh, if you liked it, let me know in the, in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll try and answer them for you the best I can. And, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.